Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, if the center taping is shifted towards diode D1, as shown in the diagram, draw the output waveform of the given circuit. So here is a given circuit of a rectifier, of a full wave rectifier. And the main thing here is this, that the center taping is not exactly at the center. It means that the secondary winding is divided into two sections in such a manner that the upper section is having lesser number of turns as compared to the lower pair of terminals. This pair of terminal, for example, let us call this as A, B, C. It means that between A and B, the number of turns are less as compared to the, uh, the turns between B and C. So we have to draw the output waveform corresponding to this particular situation. Now, corresponding to this particular situation, the waveform looks something like this. So, this is the output when diode D1 is on. This is the section of the waveform when the diode D2 is on. And this again is the section corresponds to D1 on and this correspond to the section D2 on. When D1 is on, D2 is off. And when D2 is on, D1 is off. And vice versa. And in a similar manner, the cycles repeat. D1 on, D2 off. D2 on, D1 off. The reason of the difference in the heights of these particular waveforms is due to the uneven number of turns between A, B and B, C. As the number of turns between A and B are less as compared to the number of turns between B and C, the voltage which we obtain across A, B is less as compared to the voltage we get across B, C. That's why when the diode D1 conducts, we get a lesser output voltage. This is the output voltage waveform with respect to time. So we get a lower height when the diode D1 is on, D2 is off, and we get a higher height, higher amplitude of the output when D2 is on and D1 is off. So we have to draw this particular waveform for this particular circuit. So hope you understand the solution. Thank you.